Hey guys, this is NHSDL06, and welcome back to part 97 of Let's Play Fire Emblem. So we have this very, very blue chapter to accomplish today. Lots of snipers, archers, druids, and shamans, and gradually will be more people. Um, you're split into two groups of four, and I believe there's 14 over here, but as you can see, three of these spaces are not filled. Because I'm only bringing 15 characters, I don't really need the extra three, I guess. At least in my opinion, I don't really... I feel like this is going to be my team for the final. I don't really want any more people. You will need to bring either Thief or Door Keys and Chess Keys. And this is very important. You will want to bring a Restore Stave. And I'm bringing Heath with an Elysian Whip, because he will promote soon. I feel... That's 25 experience points. It's not going to be that difficult to get. And I've tried to re-equip everybody with items that are more appropriate for their classes. And I, I need to give... I don't think I have... Well, poop. I don't have any... I don't have a Book of Fire. I guess I'll have to give Priscilla a Book of Fire some other time. Because I know for a fact that Thunder is D-magic. Oh well. Alright, so let's go ahead and save you save. And get crack a lacking. Of course we're gonna deploy Merlin, it's kinda of questions that. And you get uh so help. This is a message from Lord Nurgle. Uh, I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message. Please leave your name in a rap of the beep. Tell all the soldiers. Take your post and don't move. Hold your positions. All we can do is hold on until reinforcements arrive. That's what you think. Hello, it. What? Oh, friends like that. What? What? Your motivation is that a girl who you don't like is talking to you. Actually, he probably does like her to some extent. Don't overexert yourself. She'd like to overexert him. I'm fine. I'm not that weak. That's right. Anyone? You. You're one of Lord Hector's guests, aren't you? You shouldn't be out here, it's too dangerous. Go and hide in that room, do you understand? Alright, so as you can see, you have to protect this throne for 11 turns. You have 5 knights up here, and 2 down here to quote unquote protect you. There's a sword master, tons of snipers, so make sure that if you're going to bring flying units out, that they have a Delphi shield or they have a ton of defense, which probably isn't very characteristic. And then you have Denning here, who's our boss, he's a sniper. Not a lot of not a lot of defense, so shouldn't be too difficult. And of course tons of druids, so make sure you got this guy here. I gave the restore stave to Lucius. And I put a lot of people with high resistance here because of these guys. I knew for a fact that they'd be coming after us. So my goal is to put Oswin here. Because Oswin Oswin should be able to take uh some hits. His resistance is okay. It's actually better than than Nino's, but he's also promoted. Um, so we're going to put him there, and then if he ever gets turned berserk, I think this guy has it? Okay, he has a silence stay. One of them has it, I think. And if not, then it's silence and sleep. Okay, well still. Those are both rather annoying, and you can confront both of those with a restore stave. And it'll give you a good amount of experience. Alright, so let's get crack lacking. Don't have a ton of time. Um, and they recommend that you just wait it out, which is dumb. I'm not gonna wait it out. I'm gonna use these guys as death fodder, right? That's a that's an appropriate thing to do, I think. Alright, just gonna hang out for one turn until I can get everybody equipped, and anybody that has a, uh, a ranged weapon, because they're probably going to go after you. So anybody with a ranged weapon, um, do it to it, get you some, and then just group everybody up around so you can move. And make sure that you have somebody. My person, my throne watcher is going to be Hawkeye, because he is grand. I don't know. <laughs> he was just my choice. Alright, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. And that should be everybody except for these guys. These guys are just going to hang tight. All right. Do your worst, enemy. Um, since this is posted on Tuesday, it will have been one, two, three, four days since it came out. Um, for those of you who have not seen it yet, I recommend going and seeing Toy Story 3. It's a great film, in my opinion. Um, it really does justice to the series. And I feel that, although the story might be a little bit too mature for, let's say, kids. And when I say kids, I mean, like, somewhere between the ages of, like, 6 to 10 or 6 to 12. They might not understand what it's about. Um, for those of us, including myself, who've grown up with the series, I think you'd really enjoy it. So I recommend going out and giving it a look-see. Very enjoyable. I've seen it twice now in two days. It's kind of dumb, but my girlfriend and I decided to go out and see it once, and then for Father's Day, my dad wanted to um, to go see it. So we took him out there for Father's Day today, Sunday. And I liked it. So I saw it once regularly, and then I saw it once uh, in IMAX 3D, which, I mean, if you have the ability to go see it in IMAX or in 3D, regardless, either or, although I think most of the IMAXs are almost, like, required that you go see in 3D now, do it great film. Uh, Pixar is, I mean, being being a, a film major, Pixar is probably one of my most respected companies that I follow, so definitely go get a look-see. Oh yeah, my question for today, um, going along with that, since it's, I'm in the, kind of in the spirit, um, what's your favorite, favorite Pixar film? That's a good question. Um, I would have to say probably my favorite just because it's a classic, it would probably be the, the original Toy Story. But, um, my favorite other than that? Oh, don't hit me. Oh, that's garbage. When you get silence, it means you can't use magic attacks. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be the original Toy Story. Followed by probably The Incredibles, which is an incredible film. <laughs> I get it. Um, C'est incroyable. Um, I love that film. I liked Finding Nemo. I was a big fan of, um, let's see, never seen Ratatouille. I'd like to see that one, though. Yeah, big fan of Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Up. Up is a great film. If you haven't seen Up, then you are clearly missing out, because it's one of the greatest films. Um, yeah, just, you know, things like that. I'm going to let Lynn... See, I'm tempting. All right, I'm just gonna let Lynn take out the sniper because she can use bows, and because giving all that experience to Heath would be stupid since he only needs 25. And as we all know, a kill results in 30. So, and I think Heath should be able to finish off one of these guys. Yeah, he has a braided lance too. So, and he gets a critical. So, I mean, that's just. That's just fine and dandy. There it is. Level 20. We will now be promoting Heath the next turn. Which, with the sheer amount of enemies in this level, I'm not sure we're actually going to get to have another turn before the end of this recording. Jeez. Jeezy Pete's. Yes. So, let me know, guys, what your favorite Pixar film was. Maybe a little why. That would probably be that would probably be excellent if you would explain to me why. You know, for some of us, it's just like a, a childhood classic, or um, I don't know. But I mean, you have to you can't discredit the fact that probably 98% of the Pixar films that have ever been made are just complete gold. But I will say that of the Pixar films, if I had to pick one that I didn't like. Um, it would be Cars. And the reason being is, I think that Cars, like, the idea behind Cars is okay with, um, you know, I, I'm just saying the motif, as in, like, the Cars talking, doing their thing. That's, that's fine. That worked, that worked for me. At least I thought it worked well. But the thing that didn't work was the fact that pretty much Cars was an hour of Matthew, 
Oh, no, no, no. It was, was it, it was Owen Wilson, not Matthew McConaughey. Uh, it was pretty much an hour of Owen Wilson being really whiny about how sucky his life was because he made a crappy mistake. And to me, that's just not entertaining. I thought it was boring. And just the sheer fact that they're making a second one is... Ugh, makes me want to throw up. Oh yeah, and for those of you who are wondering, the uh, Hit Hector, I almost said Hitler. <laughs> yeah, Hit Hitler's a uh, critical animation. No, Hector's critical animation. He pull pulls his axe back a little farther. All right. So this looks like this is all the time we're gonna have for today, guys. We only got t two turns now, which is sad. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about your favorite Pixar film, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.